Okay guys, uh, this is my car for Taurus 1998 piece of shit the AC compressor has been on this entire fucking time when it was supposed to be off and the thing is I don't use my AC it's fucking San Diego I don't use AC here you know what I'm saying so my shit's been off but it's talking to the mechanic he said it's been on this entire fucking time that's why I've been getting my car issues and burning up my uh, radiator fluid on a serious fucking note fuck man I'm over here at F&H Auto Repair in Spring Valley. If you guys really want to know, this guy's definitely hooking me up. I have to spend $500 to fix this piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? He's going to do the uh, radiator flush and um, changing my oil and also uh, my belt. Super uh, super team belt. I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, this super team belt. It's like a uh, hella worn out, as you can tell. That shit is worn the fuck out. It is cracked. Okay. It's fucked up. Okay, so right below this one, I don't know if you guys can see it. Right below this one is the uh, AC compressor. Yeah, it's rusted as fuck, but it's been... Yeah, it's not working the way I want it to. As you can tell right here, my radiator is murky as fuck. Look at it. It's murky. It's supposed to look like plastic. It is not plastic looking. It's dark swamp color. It's fucked up. Yeah, man. And I gotta do a flush, maybe. Definitely an oil change. It's, it's due for an oil change. I got like maybe 300 more miles before I need to do a, an oil change. So I might as well just do it now. You know, just get it out the way. I still need to replace an, um, my oil pan gasket. I don't know if I can do that yet. That one's got... Yeah, it's not the best time to do it right now. I'm gonna be pissed. Yeah. So, um... Definitely, man. It's like guys say he's gonna hook me up five hundred dollars every single thing the ac compressor the uh team belt i don't know how is, am i saying that correctly am i saying it right correct me if i'm wrong okay i'm willing to learn i just i just i don't even have never used that word before but anyways you know uh yeah man i gotta fucking uh Get this shit straight, man. Every car, I swear, I have a problem with it, man. Okay, like, when I first bought my first, very first car, my Honda 1990, uh... It was in 1999. It was a Honda 1999. And that car, I bought that salvage title. And it ended up fishtailing this other car. And totally, totally destroyed my car. My driver's side car, too. It was undrivable, so I totaled my car. Second car that I ever get is a fucking Prelude 92. I think that was one of my favorite cars, but it had a class two leak, so it was dripping. The oil was dripping off of it. So definitely it's not the thing that you want to do. Then uh, I had my Honda Civic Si, the first one. It was stupid, man, that car was beautiful. I ended up trading it for another Honda Civic Si, the Mugen one. It was big, uh, it was the Mugen color blue, and uh, I ended up destroying that car because uh, my car spiraled out of control going at 80 miles per hour on the highway. Somebody cut me off. It was a Volkswagen little fucking rabbit cut me off and shit, and I ended up destroying my car. I ended up getting a fucking Honda CRV, smashed the right uh, driver's side door, left side, you know, driver's side door, destroyed that. I ended up getting this piece of shit. Now this one's giving me fucking problems, man. I'm telling you, car problems for days. I'm not allowed to have nice things. That is a fact. All right, man. That's all I have to say, man. The moral of today's fucking story is the fact that I cannot go to Long Beach anymore. It's been canceled. Metroplex, I cannot go no more. I ain't got no fucking money. I got $500 out the bank, bro, cuz. I am so sad. I am so sad. All right, guys, man. That's all I have to say. It's your boy, Jason Yamamoto, and I'll talk to you guys later.
All right, guys. Um, this is the air compress AC compressor clutch. Look at the inside of how horrible that looks. That is terrible. That is unacceptable. This is why my car has been running like crap. So if you're hearing uh, noises that's coming from the AC compressor, that is probably why. So this is the new um, AC compressor clutch that we're installing. Oh, you see that all right there? That's all oil. That's crazy right there, man. See that? That is all oil. You need to clean that shit out, man. But this is new, though. Check that out, man. Compared to the old one, yeah, that is a big difference. Big difference. That's the old and broken one right there, guys. That is horrible. This one's old. That's the new one. Old, new. Look at that, man. That's brand new. Works again. We'll find out soon, but it looks like it works again. I just want to show you guys how bad that belt is. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's pretty bad. It's my old belt. Pretty used up. Yeah. I say another 5,000 miles or the broke. Alright, guys. This is how you know you need a radiated flush. It is like morning piss color. It looks like I just woke up and took a piss. That's how it looks like right now. Pretty bad. That's not how radiator fluid looks like. <laughs> Son of a bitch. My radiator is leaking. It's like... You see this trail? Of fucking radiator fluid? It is running. My shit is... My radiator's leaking fucking any coolant. I guess what happened was... I guess what what happened was my... Because my... I wanted a uh, radiator flush. The gunk was so thick that it actually plugged up the leaks. Now that I did radiator flush, it's not clogging up the leaks. Now it's just leaking now. And that's some shit. Ain't that some shit, man. I'm pissed. I'm hella pissed. Alright guys, man, check this out. I have my old radiator right here. This is real, man. I'm telling you, this is why I can't go to Long Beach. <laughs> this is what cost me $550, man. This is what cost me. Alright, this... It was leaking from the core. Like, literally. You see this? It, the fluid is leaking in the core. You got big old circle in the middle. This is from debris and dirt. But hey, man, I saved myself a future headache. Headache now for future, for, for the future. All right, man. This is all I got right here, man. Let's look at this junk right here, man. It's messed up. Oh man. Two sport, Jason Yamamoto. Today I was supposed to give my tooth. This one right here. I was supposed to get it pulled out. Well, not pulled out. Like, this is just resin. This is like, this is a coating that uh, keeps my uh, cracked tooth from being exposed. I was going to get it done today, but my dentist said my teeth isn't straight enough. So I wear retainers, so 
he wants it more straight like my front area he wants it more straight I don't know but you guys be the judge is my teeth straight anyways he didn't want to put in my um my porcelain crown so yeah so that's a bummer he said let's try it again next week anyways man I just got back from the body auto shop yeah and um, the total that I spent was about a thousand and fifty dollars that I didn't have alright I'm gonna break it down to you guys man five hundred dollars out of the pocket yesterday that was li literally half of my rent money and then um, let me see what else and then today I had to fork up another five hundred and fifty dollars that was my other half of my rent money I'm serious man I don't even have enough to pay for my internet I don't even have enough to pay for my um, court fees I get another check tomorrow for my um, um see uh, what else I get another check for my uh, hotel job that I work at night so um, that's about 450 bucks and my uh, internet is about 55 and then my course another 55 so that's 110 so 110 minus 450 that's about I got about 340 and guess what um, my rent is about 875 so I'm like $500 shy from me even paying my rent I don't even have that money so I don't know how I'm gonna do it um, it's 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 tough man it's fucking tough it's very frustrating man but I rather have a car that's not ready to die on me you understand that not ready to die on me not ready to break down on me at any time then it's like when I saw the radiator start leaking from my car that's the first freaking red flag that I raised up to the uh, mechanics it's like hey dude I, I just saw my radiator leak radiator fluid is that even normal and they were like um I don't know let's wait for like another 20 minutes and 20 minutes no shit, it was fucking leaking like crazy, it was raining, it was raining radiator fluid, and um, just, that, it, it broke my heart, you understand that, like, I just spent 500 to fix my AC compressor, my super team belt, oil, uh, oil change, and um, a radiator flush to find out my radiator is busted, and it has leaks, and it was leaking from the core, and and then when they broke the news to me, oh, you're going to have to pay $550 for a new radiator plus labor? Man, it's like, I kind of wanted to cry at the same time, but I was like, fuck, man. You just got to do it now, or else I'm not going to have a car, you uh, know. What am, what am I supposed to do? So, uh, these are the tough times that you, we must endure. But uh, my father-in-law hooked us up with his car just, you know, get around for right now. But, of course, he wants his car back. You know, I, did, I took his work car and shit. But anyways, man, um, that's all I have to say, man. I'm, I'm sorry that uh, I can't make it to Metroplex. I just spent $1,050 I didn't have. And um, you know how much it would have cost me to go to Metroplex? $65, man. 1050 versus 65 it would have cost me $40 to get to Long Beach and another you know that's $20 up and $20 down because I live in San Diego and then um, $15 to make it to Metroflex Metroflex it cost $15 pretty much for the whole day and then if you want to count for meals I probably would cook my own meal you know chicken and rice and Tupperware <laughs> you know got to keep it bro you know but uh I don't even have money for fucking food now I'm so sad. I don't know what to do. Just gotta stay positive, man. Just gotta stay positive. That's all I can do, man. If I, if I think negative now, man, nothing's gonna change. You know what I'm saying? So, gotta keep your head up. You know, just like uh, Tupac said. Anyways, man, it's your boy Jason Yamamoto, and I'll talk to you guys later. Nice. Nice. Breathe. Breathe.